A Florida man has been charged with a hate crime over the weekend after he was, he was accused of attacking a black man with a beer bottle and then pepper spraying other patrons when they tried to stop him. The man is named uh, Jason Cular, and the victim's name is 24-year-old Kenneth Hodge. Now, when Hodge and uh, Cular were at the bar, a document stated that Cular told Hodge, quote, this bar is not for blacks. When Hodge ignored Kular, the suspect allegedly broke a beer bottle over the victim's head, causing a laceration. He was then wrestled to the ground, but Kular was able to break free and run. Now, the arrest report also stated that he pepper sprayed two other patrons that tried to break up the fight, that tried to stop him from assaulting Hodge. Now, he fled the scene, but was later caught. Now, he's, right now, he's uh, in the Volusia County jo uh, Branch Jail on charges of aggravated battery, causing bodily harm, and two counts of battery w with a $21,000 bond. However, the aggravated battery charge has been reclassified to one degree higher due to the hate crime allegation. It's really sad when things like this still happen. We're not a post-racial society. Just because we have a black president does not mean that we are at all post-racial. When stuff like this happens, this is straight out of 1950s. This is straight out of the 1950s where you have black, you know, black people can't be in here. This bar is not for blacks. Kenneth Hodge wasn't doing anything but enjoying a nice beer. This is definitely a hate crime. Look, and people want to say that America's post-racial. We're not post-racial. Obviously, we still have a lot of issues with race. And stuff like that is going to keep happening until we fix that problem.